Hey guys, it's Lara. Um, it's weigh-in day. Uh, don't mind my wet hair and whatever skis. Um, I just had to make this video right now while I can. Um, so anyway, so <sighs> my week this week was not very good. Nothing to brag about. Um, the weekend was really bad. Every single day, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, um, I just made bad food choices. There was a uh, non-tracked snacking. Um, I just went really overboard those four days. Um, and then Tuesday, I got back on track. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, yesterday were perfect. I was right on point. I didn't go over my my day's points or anything like that on those three days so that was good but it wasn't quite enough to to uh, save me from the damages that I did on the weekend um, so I weighed in this morning at 165.0 which is a gain of 0.2 um, it's basically a maintain I'll call it a maintain what's point two? I could have had more, maybe more air in my lungs or something. <laughs> like, like really, what is point two? Um, but either way, it's not good, especially since I only, I was only point eight away from 50 pounds lost last week, and now I'm a pound away from 50 pounds lost, which isn't that bad. I didn't do that bad of damage. Um, this week could have been a heck of a lot worse. Um, as I mentioned in my video yesterday, uh, my husband wasn't hasn't worked this week at all. He's been home every day because he starts a new job on uh, Tuesday. And so I'm always a little bit off track when he's home because I'm off my routine. And that's why my weekends are usually my worst because there's no routine. Um, and so when he's not working at all, like this whole week has just felt like a big long weekend. And so, you know, it definitely could have been a heck of a lot worse, and I realized that. And I'm really, honestly, I'm really proud of myself for uh, getting my crap back together um, Tuesday morning and sticking with it for the last three days, um, and I'm going to keep going. This week, I managed to set a weight loss goal for myself. Um, I know that's not something I usually do, uh, but sometimes I feel like I need that just to give me that extra push to just do what I have to do. Um, so for this week I want to lose two pounds. Having a gain of 0.2 this week, uh, losing two pounds should be relatively easy I hope. Um, there is a lot of challenges coming up this week so I'm a little bit nervous about it but I'm setting the goal. Um, if I lose two pounds I will be down to 163.0 and that's actually a little mini goal that I had for myself for the month of May um, because basically my my bridesmaid dress for um, I'm a maid of honor for my best friend this summer like in August and uh, so my bridesmaid dress when we went and ordered it I weighed one I was weighing about 183 and so I always thought to myself it would be really cool if I lost 20 pounds by the time it even like got in um, and it's supposed to be in this month so 163 was sort of like a little mini goal I had for myself to reach in the month of May. Um, and then also, obviously, if I do lose 2 pounds this next week, that'll put me 51 pounds lost. I will be over my 50 pounds lost, and that will be awesome. Um, so my challenges this week is that it's a long weekend, uh, so we have a few things going on. Um, so first of all for tonight, it's Friday night, it's my usual designated, you know, treat meal night or whatever, um, but I'm not doing a treat meal tonight, I'm making uh, roast beef, potatoes, carrots, a salad, super healthy, you know, totally on plan meal, um, and I might, like I say, I've been really, really, I said in my video yesterday, I've been really wanting chips, so I might uh, allow myself to share some chips with my husband tonight, but we'll see. Um, I kind of go either way on that right now. So that's tonight. Tonight I'm not too worried about. It shouldn't be too bad. S tomorrow, Saturday, we are going over to um, a friend's place for dinner. Um, so um, I'm taking a bottle of that 
uh, chocolate flavored red wine. I'm not sure if you guys have heard of it or tried it before, but it's called Chocolate Shop. Um, I'm, I don't remember where it's from, but I think it's from California or it might be Canadian. You know what? I think it might be Canadian. I don't know. Anyways, um, and it's chocolate flavored red wine and it's so good. And my friend hasn't, hasn't tried it yet. So I'm taking a bottle of that. So I'll have probably one or two glasses of that tomorrow night. Um, and then I have no idea what we're having for dinner. So obviously that's a really tough situation to be in because I have very little control over that, right? Um, however, I can still portion. I'm not, I won't stuff myself. And that's usually not an issue for me when we're eating with friends and stuff. I'm usually too busy socializing and chatting um, that I don't overeat typically. So it should be okay. Um, I just, like I say, I don't know what they're cooking for us. Um, and so I have obviously very little control over what I'm going to eat for dinner tomorrow night. Uh, on Sunday, we are going out of town. Um, it's like two hours out of town. Friends of ours, uh, her mom lives on like a little um, acreage type thing. And there's like a little lake there and everything. And so basically they kind of turn it into a little campsite in the summertime. Like on the weekends, long weekends especially. Um, people will just go out and like titch, titch pens. Yeah, they titch their pens out there. Um, no. They pitch tents and, uh, you know, kind of camp out. And we're not staying the night or anything. We're not going to camp out that night or anything. But we are going out for the day. We'll be leaving first thing Sunday morning. Um, and then coming back Sunday night. Um, and it's like two hours away. So we'll be out there all day. So obviously I'll be eating whatever types of foods they have out there. Usually it's not the best. It's usually just a bunch of junk food. It's like camp camping type food. Um, however, what I am going to do is I am going to, on our way out for, um, maybe like tomorrow afternoon or something, I'm going to go pick up, uh, a fruit or a veggie tray. Um, probably a fruit tray because that just goes over better, I think, um, to take out there because I hate showing up places empty handed to begin with. And then also, at least I have that one thing that's like, you know, I can munch on that during the day. Um... But otherwise, I'm going to be the designated driver, so I won't be having any drinks or anything, so that's going to be fine. Um, and yeah, so I think that's that. So that's Sunday. And then on Monday, everything's back to normal. I mean, obviously, my husband's not back to work yet because it's a long weekend. He doesn't go back to work till Tuesday. But then on Tuesday, everything looks completely back to normal. But um, yeah, so I'm just going to do my best. Um, keep my points as low as I can in the times of this weekend that I have full control over what I'm eating. Um, and then at the other points, just make the best decision possible, I guess. That's all I can really do. Um, and yeah, one thing that I've really gotten back into these last few days to get myself back on track from last weekend, um, is I've really started to remind myself how much I enjoy the empty feeling. Like I, I enjoy when I'm like a little bit hungry and I just feel empty and not bloated and I like feeling like that. And I just keep reminding myself I like this feeling because sometimes I catch myself, I get like just a teeny little hunger pang and I kind of like freak out. Like I need to go eat something and then I overeat and then I feel gross and it's like I always feel better hungry. I do. I feel better being empty, I guess. Um, it sounds weird. Um, but yeah, so that's my week this week. Um, I'm going for two pounds this next week. I know I can do it. And then, um, yeah, hopefully next weekend or at some point or whatever, I will get to make my, um, long anticipated 50 pounds loss video that I've been waiting 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 to do for you guys um so yeah that's that i hope everybody has a really great or er, hope everybody had a really great week i hope everybody has a really great week next week I hope everyone has a wonderful uh weekend if it's a long weekend for you if not have a great regular weekend <laughs> um and yeah thank you for watching